what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so this is an interesting story, man. So Drake, we know he's the biggest thing in music, period, right? And Drake, man, he stays on the low key for the most part, man. We know he's a big time ladies man and he's got a big album coming up in a, I guess, I thought it was going to drop this month. It must be dropping next month then. And man, a lot of the news about Drake lately has been pretty much hush hush. I mean, there hasn't been any news is what I should say until today or should I say last night, man, while everybody else was watching the national championship game, man, you know what? Some text messages had leaked about Drake or between Drake and somebody else. Now that somebody else happened to be none other than Selena Powell. Now, for those of you who don't know, Selena Powell is one of the most infamous, infamous chicks in the rap game. I don't even know if I can say she's in the rap game. I can say she's an internet influencer or Instagram influencer. And she has a long list of people she's had negative and positive interactions with in the game. It's an interesting situation because this is where you got the biggest star in the world actually interacting with Selena Powell. And Selena Powell, for what you, what you say, man, she does a good job, man, about getting out there as far as being uh, in the mix with celebrities. Like, that might be her gift, man. That might be the one thing that her and her homegirls are really good at. They know how to get into the mix. Now, Drake wasn't with it, so he had a response that everybody was cracking up. It started trending. A lot of people posted it. I think No Jumper was the first to post it. But, man, before we get into the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, man, let's get it. Okay, so, man, let's talk about Certified Lover Boy, Champagne Poppy, none other than Drake, man. You know what I mean? I don't talk about Drake much unless there's an album coming out, but, man... This is an interesting story because Drake was throwing up blocks like he was Alabama last night, man. He was really putting it up there and letting people know that, man, you can't get into this space unless you've been certified. Now, what I'm talking about is a string of text messages. So it looks like No Jumper was the first to post this. And it went viral yesterday that Selena Powell had reached out to Drake and Drake responded. I mean, you would think that, you know, Drake wouldn't respond, but it looked like it was actually text messages. So somehow, Selena Powell got Drake's number. Reached out to Drake and let it be known that, hey, man, I'm Selena Powell. What's up? This is my name or whatever. And Drake's response was priceless. So let's go ahead and look at those the first set of uh, text messages. So you see right here, you see Drake saved in her phone, I'm assuming. And it says, I am Selena Powell. So that's her reaching out to Drake. Then Drake responds back. Def never gave you my number. I know who you are. I want no parts. <laughs> and that's the part that had everybody cracking up and a lot of memes going because Drake already established the fact that, yo, dog, I know who you are and I didn't give you my number and I don't want no parts of whatever you cooking up. Whatever you got going on, it, it, it ain't for me. Because for some of you who don't know, there's been many times in hip hop lately, man, or in the last couple of years since Selena Powell has, has blown up, that, man, her interactions with rappers have led to, man, just negative stuff for those rappers. Like, there's been a situation where she had Snoop Dogg's name out there. And Snoop Dogg is a legend, right? Everybody respects Snoop Dogg. He's almost a household name. He's like Uncle Snoop now. Everybody calls him Uncle whatnot, right? But, man, she released a whole bunch of information about Snoop, allegedly, and... It had people looking at Snoop a whole different type of way, man. It, I mean, she released some stuff as far as, you know, their interactions and his behavior when they were when they were interacting that had people looking at Snoop kind of cross-eyed because, man, she al alluded to a lot of stuff about Snoop that folks just didn't know, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to be, you know, I I'm trying to let you guys know the details without just throwing Snoop out there like that for something that hasn't officially been confirmed, you feel me? But most rappers understand, and even, this is the crazy part, a lot of the NBA players have also had interactions with Selena Powell, and they kind of stay away from her and her crew. It's like known, because everybody who's had in interactions with Selena Powell in the NBA or in the NFL, they've actually had a bad situation. Something's happened, you know? I mean, it, the list is so long of rappers or anybody who have crossed their paths, and it's just all gone awry. It is crazy, man. I'm talking about your G Herbos. 
I'm talking about all sorts of NBA players, NFL players, just a crazy list, right? But it seems like Selena Powell stays consistent, man. She knows that, man, she can get out there and, you know, she's in the mix and two people are filling each other, man. It just is what it is, you know? And it seems like that continues to work because it, it works and it works. But let's go back to the text message. And you see, she said, she responded to Drake. She said, well, okay. And yes, you did. It's still in my DM. And she hands up emoji or excuse me, you know, like the shrug emoji almost. And it says, I don't want to upset you though. So I'll stop. And it looked like, it looked like that was the end of the conversation, right? But Drake came back and responded, man. Now in that, in that portion, she's basically saying that, you know, you did give me your number. It's in my DMs that you did. And he, you, I don't know. I'll take that with a grain of salt because, you know, you never know who's telling the truth in that situation. And maybe did maybe Drake did give out his number. I don't, if somebody as famous as Drake, I'm assuming his number changes a lot because, I mean, that's what folks are doing now if you're famous. But for him to give Selena Powell his number, man, that might be a stretch. But funny enough, the conversation didn't end there, man. So it looks like Drake responded and said, doesn't look like it, laughing out loud. So, I mean, obviously Drake has a sense of humor, even though he's on guard and watching himself, covering his own back and making sure that, you know, there's no misinterpretation in this conversation. I don't want to have anything to do with you and I don't want no parts and none of this or whatever you're up to. And... Just, you know, let's end it here. And he, But he still has a, a sense of humor by saying, doesn't look like it, in response to her saying, I don't want to upset you, though, so I'll stop. <laughs> and then she responded back and said, I just want you to open my DMs, thanks. Now, this isn't that a contradiction in what she said earlier? She said that she got his number from the DMs, but then he won't open her DMs. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm misreading that, but that it just seems like a blatant contradiction to me. You guys be the judge of that. Now, then she finally uh, closed it out by saying, I don't want to get blocked, though, so I'll exit now. And just pretty much bowing down. Not bowing down to say like uh, that she's lesser than Drake, but just, just to say, yo, I still want to have an opportunity for there to be a relationship, so please don't block me. You know what I mean? And Drake probably was like, eh. Block, no, I'm joking. He probably was just like, man, I don't, I don't, I'm not thinking that deep into it. I just know that I don't want no parts in whatever's going on here. And whatever it is, I ain't trying to be in it. Now, what do you guys think, man? Do you think that Selena Powell reaching out to Drake was just somebody getting his number and giving it to her and her trying to catch Drake slipping? Or do you think that, man, this was just one celebrity reaching out to another trying to see if they can establish a relationship so that business can partake in the future. Now with that, this has been your boy Big Man. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.